talk to you about one of the reasons that I wanted to get involved in the Medtronic Mini Med 640G trial. So as an elite athlete, I've been doing athletics, sprinting for 100 and 200 meter sprints for the last 10 years. I've been on insulin pump for seven of those years and within that time I've tried a lot of the different types of brands of continuous glucose monitor and sensor devices. Now what I found in the past is that I can't get on with the sensors because I found them big, I found them bulky and when you're sprinting it's all about kind of shaving those milliseconds off your time, it's about being streamlined and it's also about not feeling self-conscious um, in what you're wearing or what you're doing. You just need to be able to get on with your performance. So for the last couple of days, I've been kind of upping my sport because I'm coming back from injury. I've been doing cycling, I've been doing sprinting again, um, jogging, drills, trying to get back up to the kind of level that I was at before we finished for the summer season. And I've also been wearing the N-Light sensor and using SmartGuard. So the way that the N-Light sensor works is that you attach the device using a needle um, to the kind of stomach area. You then remove the needle and a filament is left underneath the skin. Now the filament I found is very flexible. So it moves with me rather than against me, which again could be quite a problem um, in some of the other sensors that I've tried. The device then is able to transmit what the glucose levels in my body are doing to the pump. And not only that, it can show you directions in which your glucose levels are moving, which is really handy for me because as part of my sport, I have to be prepared. So whether that's taking, off, taking on enough glucose before the sport or kind of managing that my glucose levels are in the right range before I start, it is integral to what I'm doing to get the best performance out of myself and my pump as well. So the other thing that I've been trying with this is the smart guard system and the way that that works is that when the sensor transmits to the pump that your glucose levels are starting to drop then smart guard tells you that it's going to suspend the insulin in the pump until your glucose levels start going back within range. Now I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about this when I read about it and kind of heard how it worked. I wasn't sure whether my blood glucose levels were going to spike afterwards because I'd been without the insulin. I just wasn't sure what to expect or how that would affect my sport. But I've been massively surprised that when they suspend, I think that I've probably avoided having 95% 90, of my hypos. I've had one uh, measurement of 4.4 and we're on about day 30 of the trial, which for me as a sports person is really unusual because as, as I do so much sport, I find that I'm quite sensitive to insulin and I have to be very careful about hypos. So to be able to say that I think that it's reduced that amount of hypos is a massive deal. And I've been really comfortable in wearing the sensor as well. So as I up my training, I'm really looking forward to feeding back to you how this is gonna behave in the really strenuous sessions in winter. So going onto the sand dunes, really high intensity workouts, circuits where we're going to be hot, we're going to be sweaty, but I'm going to be feeding back on how this is kind of cooked with it all really. So please check back in and also check out the blog as well for more details on how I'm getting on in the trials.